We want to begin tonight with CBS 13's Adrian Moore in the newsroom. Adrian. Yeah, Elizabeth and Tony, President Trump's inner circle appears to be shrinking tonight with those on both sides of the aisle pushing to oust him. But one local Republican congressman argues all it would do is deepen the country's divide. The president should be removed from office. I think there's no question that America would be better off if uh, the president would uh, resign or be removed from office. In what's become a more unified message, Democrats and Republicans are calling for the impeachment of President Trump or for the 25th Amendment to be invoked. The vice president can invoke the 25th Amendment today, and if the cabinet votes, he's gone. They should do it now. If the vice president and the cabinet do not act, the Congress may be prepared to move forward with impeachment. As to the 25th Amendment being invoked, I do not believe that's appropriate at this point. But with less than two weeks left in his presidency, Northern California Congressman Tom McClintock says neither is a sound decision. He believes it would only cause more division. Uh, the 25th Amendment is specifically designed to address the physical incapacity of the president. It has nothing to do with bad or even egregious conduct. Uh, and impeachment is reserved for uh, high crimes and misdemeanors. Uh, I think the best uh, response uh, to uh, the president's recent conduct is simply to wait two weeks. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. In his first tweet since being banned, President Trump acknowledged a new administration, but fell short of conceding the election. He also condemned the riots. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. Federal prosecutors are looking at what role anyone, including President Trump, played in inciting the assault on the Capitol. More than 4,000 tips have now come in to the FBI so far. Federal prosecutors say all options are on the table for charging the rioters, including sedition.